everyone poops, but it turns out we don't all need to poop every day. That's a misconception, said gastroenterologist Dr. Fala Said May, an associate professor at the David Geffen School of Medicine at the University of California, Los Angeles. I even have people who try and make appointments, because they say, oh, I stopped having a bowel movement every single day a few years ago, May said. And I have to remind people that there's really not a fixed or normal number of bowel movements. That notion probably stems from a Victorian-era belief that having a bowel movement daily makes you healthier, said Dr. Michael Camilleri, a consultant and professor in the Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Not necessarily. Most people will have anywhere between a bowel movement up to three times a day to three times per week, May added. Anywhere in that range, we consider normal. When it comes to bowel movements as a measure of health, frequency isn't the only important factor. And several factors can influence how often we poop, including diet, hydration, stress, age, medication use and social circumstances, said Dr. Tricia Pazricha, a gastroenterologist at Massachusetts General Hospital and instructor of medicine at Harvard Medical School. It's helpful to know what your poop looks like in addition to just how often you poop. The stool form, appearance or consistency of the bowel movement is actually a much better criterion than the simple numbers to frequency, Camilleri said. Medical professionals assess stool quality using the Bristol stool chart, which classifies stools into seven groups. The healthiest kinds of poop are types 3 and 4, stool that's shaped like a sausage with cracks on the surface or snake-like and smooth. If you're pooping three times per week and the consistency is hard or pebble-like, that could be fine if you haven't experienced any change in your quality of life, Pazricha said. But if you're excessively straining when trying to poop or feeling like you haven't totally emptied your bowel, you may need to make changes to either poop more often or have healthier stool quality, experts said. Putting your feet on a toilet stool, or even a stack of books, could help. Doing so raises your knees above your hips relaxing the pelvic floor muscles that support your bowel and allowing poop to pass through more easily, Pazricha said. We did not evolve to have our bowel movements sitting with our hips at 90 degrees on a chair, which is what we do now. We used to all have bowel movements squatting, she said. Sitting at that sort of upright, 90-degree angle actually closes off the passageway. How to have healthy poop? Just like we need to make good choices to get restful sleep, we need to make wise food and drink choices to keep our bowels healthy. Eating enough fiber from vegetables, fruits, whole grains and nuts can help prevent constipation, experts said. Total fiber intake should be at least 25 grams daily, according to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Some studies have found kiwis and prunes can be especially helpful for relieving constipation, experts said. But don't eat too much fiber as that has been linked with abdominal bloating or loose stools, experts said. Being sufficiently hydrated softens the stool so you can pass it without straining, May said. Coffee, or caffeinated beverages, have also been shown to stimulate the contractions of the colon, Camilleri said, noting they can induce bowel movements. A high-fat diet, on the other hand, can slow your digestive system down, May added. 